Hello, hello, hello. This is the funding CEO, AKA Metal Marvin, and I just wanted to come in and just give a little funding tip. Um, we're in the last quarter, guys, and uh, anybody out there that actually want to uh, establish a business or already have a, maybe a startup company or maybe even a seasoned company, I just want to give a tip on some uh, guidelines when it comes to funding. So you sort of know what, maybe maybe you need to make some adjustments, maybe even with your credit, your uh, personal file, uh, maybe, maybe making sure that everything's aligned when it comes to your um, your articles and different things in place when you want to go and apply for funding. And that's what we do here at Funding Credit, okay? We make sure that we interact with the banks um, and we make sure that when we uh, talk to our clients, we definitely want to make sure that we're educating them about how it needs to look and pretty much giving them a really good understanding of what they're probably in the middle of getting. Um, you know, we don't want to let you know that thinking of getting 10 grand when you could be getting 50 grand with a slight adjustment. Okay. So I just wanted to let you guys know, definitely appreciate everybody checking out Funding Credit, but I think I got to really write it down so people can understand it real quick. Here's the tip. Let me take this out. Show this. I've showed this to my staff several times, but it's really stickers. A lot of people go into the bank and they don't really have no idea. They just know they need money. They need funding. Okay. So most banks, traditional banks, 680, 720, FICO. That's 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 pretty much standard, okay? That's standard. And we're talking about funding. Okay. Now, when it comes to mostly when you're looking at funding, you got to have one, you got to have more than this. Okay. Usually you're going to need to have at least three to five years. Good payment history. Okay. All right. That's three to five years is what they want to see. That, that could be either in between revolving cards. That could be installment payments. Uh, installment payments mean either maybe like a car payment, a house payment, and even that, even we can show you if if you're knowledgeable enough and you get in our system, we can show you actually how we can use your rental history as credit as, as a good payment history as well. It's definitely a lot of good things. That's the second stickler. First thing, funding six eighty to seven twenty. Of course, we know seven twenty to eight hundred is really where you want to be. But that's when they can start working with you with certain items. But we could tell you actually what items we know, what credit bureaus they're pulling from. We have all the extra underwriting criteria here at Funding Credit. That's why people come to us. We can maximize your funding. Okay. But then on here, what they want is 30% or more credit debt ratio. All right. All right. So your credit to debt ratio on your profile needs to be 30 or lower. But me, I like mine to be 15%. Okay. 15 or lower, because I think that's just a, 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 a extra criteria that I think that you need to maximize your funding. 30% is cool, but I like to see maybe between 15, even down to 7% and lower. Okay. All right. But that's what the banks wants to see. Okay. Definitely, again, when you come out here, I call it shopping. This is just something that I've called up. That's me. That's a funding CEO uh, term. Shopping means that if you go to Bank of America and you, and, and you have, we call it inquiries. Inquiries, I call it shopping. It lets people know what you've been doing with their credit. Did you go play for it? They can look on there and say, oh, okay. She went to, um, uh, uh, to the jewelry store and ordered a ring. Oh, she applied for a car. Mm, wow, they ran her credit five or six, seven times. Oh, he tried to go over here and he went to Chase and applied for a credit card. All those inquiries, guys, one, that's 10% of your credit. And it can really bring your credit down in a lot of areas. But people don't want to see any inquiries when you're asking them for funding. They want to feel like they're privileged and they want to feel like you're the first person they came to. They really stick with us on that, guys. You know, you might be asking them for money, and you might have went over here and went and got a car. But the car has nothing to do with funding. Don't want to see that. So definitely come to us. We know how to definitely uh, get inquiries, the ones that definitely is not connected, and get those off your credit. So when you get funding, 
you can get all of the funding. Who wants to get 20 grand when you could have got 70 grand? Let us get the, we, we have experts guys to get these stuff off. So inquiries. I hope I'm spelling this right, but if not, you get it. <laughs> inquiries, they want zero, none, no inquiry. So this is the funding tip. Funding, you definitely need a 680 to 720 FICO, okay? Period. You definitely need to have that, okay? You definitely want to have three to five years of uh, good payment history, okay? That's revolving and um, installment loans as well. They want to have, they like to say standard 30% or lower. I like to say 15% or lower on credit debt ratio, okay? Definitely, guys. Let people feel that you can afford to make some moves. You can afford to pay them back. You don't need to look like you're maxed out when you're asking for money, okay? And then inquiries. You don't need to look like you've been all over the place shopping all over the place for Christmas or whatever. When you come in, you need to be clean as a whistle and so they can say, okay, yeah, we can go ahead and get this guy the max amount of funding, okay? So this is a funding tip. I'll be rolling these things out going into next year. I just want to keep you guys focused on not putting you in debt, but leverage, guys. You need a nest egg. Things pop up. You never know what's going on with this economy. Make sure that you have something in your pocket. You can put a fire out or something happening in your life personally or on the business. I and mean, we deal with both, okay? So this is the funding tip from the funding CEO. Y'all have a wonderful week, and I'll be talking to you soon. Peace.